Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Odyssey Rock and today I want to show you real quickly how I set up photo socks, basically personalized socks for photos. Um, here's my template file and I have this set up the size of two socks side by side and this white right here is the live area. I mean this is the safe area and this is anything that I want to be on the sock goes in this area. Um, this is the live area. This is side to side, the width of my sock jig. And then this dark area here is the bleed. So once I have this printed and set up, anything in here will will for sure get printed. Anything on this edge is might, might not. And then that's what the bleed's for, just in case things shift or I don't line things up quite the way they need to. And I have my file set up at 300 pixels per inch. You can go down to 200 pixels per inch if you need. Um, print quality won't really change very much in that and sometimes you get pictures that are just a little bit too small. So I can bring up my guides and, and hide uh, this and bring up my background. And then my Photoshop guides will show me all the all this stuff marked over. And this is my center line here on both sides. So I take my picture. And what I'm going to do, I like to copy this and paste it into my working file. And then hide my guides. And I'm just going to go in here with the lasso tool. And I'm using a pen display. A mono, mine's a mono price. It's basically a cheap version of like a um, Wacom Cintiq or something like that. And make sure that my anti-alias is turned on. That'll give me a more of a feathered edge to this. And then I just go in and I start, start drawing. And you can use the, um, the magic wand or the background removing tool and, or any of those things. But what I like about this um, is that it gives me complete control over what I'm doing. You could even use a quick mask to do this. Whatever suits you best. But for me, I just like to, to use the lasso because I'm used to it. And it's uh, familiar for me and comfortable. Now, if you wanted to, I mean, I'm using a pen and a tablet. You could use a mouse and then you definitely would probably want to use one of those other tools. And this is just going to be real kind of quick and I don't really, I don't think need to be super precise with this because what's going to happen is I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go layer and then uh, make a new layer. Where the heck is it? New layer via copy, which would be control J. And what it's going to do is going to take my selection and put it on a new layer. Now with this, I'm going to res I'm going to show my guides again and then I'm going to resize this. And what I basically want to do is have it go from my safe area here and overlap my center line by a little bit. And when I'm reducing it here, I actually had nearest neighbor which I don't want. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to change this to bicubic sharper uh, and that'll give me a nice, a nice smooth edge when I'm reducing. The nearest neighbor will make it so it's aliased, meaning that there's just square pixels on the edges of things. I can make this a little bit smaller. And then what I like to do here is select white and then put a stroke on it and we'll, let's try let's say six a six point stroke on the outside that's a little small for me let's try a ten point stroke and that looks okay and I can do a bigger or smaller stroke and the good thing about the stroke is it kinda hides any of the little imperfections that from when you made your selection. All right, so here I can do it this way. 
Or I can make this actually a little bit smaller here. Okay, then I'm gonna duplicate this. Now what I'm doing is I'm on, on Windows, I'm holding down the Alt key and dragging with this, the Move tool. Okay, so I have this here and this here. I'm gonna go to my layers and select both layers at the same time and it shows me, this box shows me the center of my selection. And I'm just gonna line that up with with my center line guide. Now with both layers selected, I'm gonna go back to this move tool up here and hold down Alt and Shift. And that's gonna duplicate it with the Alt and the Shift is gonna constrain it so that it just stays in a perfect straight line down. And here I'm actually just eyeballing it. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing again just make it so I so it's the way that I like. And I'm going to grab the second to highest layer here and then move this guy down. Okay, now what I'm going to do is select all of these. So I click the top one, hold down shift, click the bottom one, and then I'm going to merge that. Merge layers. Now with those merged, I'm going to Make sure that one layer with all those merges selected. Make sure I'm using my move tool. Hold down Alt and Shift and drag it over here. Then I'm going to use my arrow keys to move it so that this uh, is as close to the center line as possible. This little box right here. And I can merge both of those layers, hide my guides. And I have my file ready to print. And when I print them, I'm going to line one sock jig here. And this is just a rough estimate here. And I have one sock jig there. And then the other one like this. And there will be a gap in between the two of my bleed. And then I can make any adjustments I need on my heat press to make sure that I have these, these graphics lined up. And that's pretty much it. Um, depends on which printer you're using what kind of inks, what your print settings are, so I can't really tell you much about that. But this is the basic setup for, for doing your socks in Photoshop. And I find that it's easier to do this than to use Patternator or something like that because I get the exact results I want. I can make any adjustments on the fly. I can make the heads bigger. I can make them smaller. I can do whatever I want. And I have complete and total control. Thanks for watching. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. I would like to see some of your work too. It'd be kind of cool to see what everyone else is doing. And don't stop designing and see you on the next one. Thank you.